Hello there, and hello to my fellow PMOs out there. And I was thinking when I was creating this two week team rotor, um, is how many times this situation has cropped up? So if you take the scenario where I've sent an email to my, my HR business partner uh, because I'm looking to create this team table. So I want my team's names, I want their skill set and I want their contracted hours. And I've reached out to my HR business partner um, and as always um, really helpful uh, and they sent me an email with those details. Um, and I received that email and it looks something like this. So here's my email from my HR business partner I say, here are those details you asked for, reference name, skill, and weekly contracted hours for the team. And they've listed them down in text like this. But how am I gonna get this information easily into Excel in a format that I can use in a, in, in a table? Well, the years where we would have to do uh, nested functions to extract text from a text string those complicated formulas, those days are gone. And this is how I would handle this challenge here. So I would take the text that Hazel has sent me from my HR business partner and I would copy it. So I've got the name separated by a colon, then I've got the skill set, and then I've got their hours, their contracted hours there. So if I select that and copy it, I go to my Excel file like so. And if I just expand this out and I go into and I click inside the formula bar and I just paste what I've just copied from the email and hit return, you can then see there's the data. So how will I get this into name, skill and contracted hours? Well, Office 365 and the tech split function comes to our rescue. So how I would write this is I would go equals tech split. The text is obviously going to be this text here, so I'm going to select that. And then the first argument it's asking for is a column delimiter. So, and as you can see in here, I've got a couple of things that separate, so I've got the name, then I've got a space, then I've got colon, then space, then I've got the skill set office manager, and then the hours, I've got hours, colon, and then um, I've got the hours number there, and then I've got a comma after that. So as far as this um, column delimiter, I need to be able to put more than one. I've got a colon, and I've got hey, the hours and colon. And the way that I would do that is the squiggly bracket, or squiggly line as I like to call it, and then in quotation marks, I'm going to put the first delimiter, colon, then comma, and then open quotation marks again. And I'm going to put the second delimiter, which is going to be HRS and colon. And then I'm going to close the quotation marks and then close squiggly bracket like so. And then the next argument is going to be my row delimiter, which is going to be the comma. And I've only got one of those here, so I'm going to do open quotation marks, comma, close quotation marks, and then close bracket to close the former off. And if I press return, you can now see it's split it out for me. Brilliant. Now I can see there in here, I've got some spaces. So I want to get rid of those spaces, uh, you know, before the office manager and before the hours. So I'm just going to wrap that in a trim statement. So I'm going to go trim, open bracket, and that'll get rid of the spaces before and after. And if I hit return, brilliant. Those spaces are gone. So now, I've got rid, I've now split this into um, the elements that I want, but this is a an overspill um, formula. So now what I want to do is copy this information, like so, and do control copy, and then I'm going to paste over it with values only, like so. 
So now it's no longer a formula, it's now values on their own right. So I'm going to get rid of this here, so I don't need it anymore. So I'm simply just going to delete the column here. So I've now got my information here. But what you can see here is that I've got these values. If I do and convert it to a number, it doesn't do it because at the moment Excel's recognizing this as text. And there are a number of ways that I can convert this text to a number. So one way would be if I put a one here, the number one, I then do control copy and then I select all these values here and then do on the home tab paste special paste and I choose the option multiply click OK it's now converted these all to proper numbers and you can tell this because text is normally um, uh, left hand is aligned to the left and numbers are aligned to the right um, so that's now done so I'm going to get rid of this number here I'm going to select these and I'm going to turn them into a number now and it recognizes them appropriately and then I'm going to do control T to turn this to a table and then I'm going to call this table again give it an appropriate name table team and there you go that's how I take that email and convert it into usable data in a table hopefully that's been helpful Goodbye to long nested formulas. Hooray! <laughs>